How you doing everybody? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my YouTube channel. How to beat a fake friend or a narcissist. That's the title of this video. Dealing with fake friends, dealing with narcissists is not easy. It's a tough job. It can be very challenging. Because narcissists are master manipulators. They are selfish, self-centered, self-absorbed, egocentric, egotistic individuals. They use then discard others. Their main mission is to hurt you, to punish you. Fake friends will backstab you, they backbite you, they gossip about you. Their main mission is to see you cry, it is, to, it is to destroy you. Now, one way of dealing with these fake friends and narcissists, beating them is not a piece of cake, but this is how you can beat them. Number one, you can set boundaries, clearly define what is acceptable behavior and what is not. For example, you can tell them, I need to take some space right now. Let's talk later. Number two way of beating a fake friend or a narcissist is to limit personal sharing. Keep details about your life minimal. Example, avoid discussing personal problems or plans that could be used against you. Number three, stay calm, cool, composed, collected. Don't let the fake friend or the narcissist provocations rattle you. Example, respond to a manipulative comment with a neutral understanding perspective again avoid gossip don't talk about them behind their back example maintain professionalism in conversations about them and the way of beating a fake friend or a narcissist is to use neutral responses when faced with their drama respond with neutral phrases for example you can say that's one way to look at it you can also document interactions keep a record of their behavior if necessary Note down instances of manipulation for future references. Again, be assertive. Stand up for yourself without being aggressive. For example, you can say, I don't appreciate being spoken to that way. You can also seek support. Don't talk, uh, uh, talk to trusted friends or professionals about your experiences. That is now what we call seeking support. Example, you can share your concerns with a counselor for advice. To beat a fake friend or a narcissist, focus on yourself. Prioritize your own needs and growth. Example, invest time in hobbies and activities that make you happy. To beat a fake friend or a narcissist, use humor. They fuse tension with humor. Example, respond to a sarcastic remark with a light-hearted joke. Again, to beat a fake friend or a narcissist, avoid confrontations. Sometimes it is better to avoid direct conflict. For example, politely excuse yourself from uncomfortable situations. To beat a fake friend or a narcissist, you can create emotional distance. Protect your feelings by not getting too involved. Example, keep interactions brief and impersonal. Stay confident, maintain your self-esteem and don't let the narcissist or the fake friend's behavior affect your self-worth. Example, remind yourself of your strengths regularly. You can also change the subject. Redirect conversations away from sensitive topics. Example, you can say that's an interesting point. Have you seen the latest news? You can also limit interaction. Reduce the time you spend with them. Example, politely decline invitations that involve them. You can also control your reactions. Don't give them the emotional reaction they seek. Example, maintain a calm demeanor even if they are provoking you. Again, to beat this fake friend or narcissist, be direct when necessary. Address problematic behavior honestly. Example, I find your comments hurtful and I'd like them to stop. You can also use I statements. Express your feelings without accusing. For example, I feel uncomfortable when you speak to me like that. You can also engage the fake friend or the narcissist uh, directly. Right? Don't beat about the bush. You can tell them on their face what you like and what you don't like. In short, this is like establishing boundaries. You can also focus or engage in self-care. Take care of your mental and physical health. Take care of your well-being. You can practice mindfulness or exercise regularly. That's an example of self-care. Again, to beat a fake friend or a narcissist, maintain professionalism. If in a work setting, keep interactions professional. Focus on tasks and avoid personal discussions. You can also beat a fake friend or a narcissist by seeking mediation. If appropriate, involve a neutral third party. Example, you can involve a supervisor or a human resource representative. They can help mediate conflicts. You can also stay objective. V view the narcissist or the fake friends. Uh, view 
their behavior from a logical standpoint. Example, they are acting this way because they are insecure. Again, to be this fake friend or narcissist, you can you should be, be prepared for manipulation. Remember, they are master manipulators. Recognize their tactics and don't fall for them. Example, if they try to guilt trip you, remain firm in your stance. To beat a fake friend or narcissist, avoid emotional bait. Don't let them provoke you into reacting emotionally. Example, stay cool, calm, composed if they, they, are, if they are trying to elicit a response. Also, you can reframe their behavior. Shift your perspective to understand their motives. Example, consider their actions as a reflection of their issues, not yours. You can also use boundaries as protection. Guard your personal space and time. Establish clear limits on how often you are available. Also, you can be wary of flattery. Recognize when compliments are manipulative. Example, thank you, but I prefer not to discuss this topic. You can also stay true to your values. Don't compromise your principles for them. Example, if they pressure you to do something you are uncomfortable with, say no. You can also be cautious with trust. Only share personal information with those who have proven themselves trustworthy. Example, keep sensitive conversations for close friends only. You can also use non-engagement. Avoid engaging in their drama. Example, when they start a contentious topic, change the subject or walk away. You can also keep records of agreement. If you make plans, confirm them in writing. Example, just confirm, are we still meeting on Friday? Another way of beating this fake friend or narcissist is to develop other friendships. Strengthen connections with supportive people. Example, spend more time with friends who are genuine and caring. You can also beat the fake friend or the narcissist by recognizing red flags. Be aware of signs of narcissistic behavior, such as lack of empathy. Example, notice if they frequently dismiss your feelings. You can also use emotional detachment. Separate yourself emotionally from their actions. Example, you can imagine their behavior as an unrelated incident rather than a personal attack. You can also beat a fake friend or a narcissist by being prepared for gaslighting. Recognize when they try to make you doubt yourself. Example, stick to your re recollection of events and don't second guess yourself. You can also avoid power struggles. Don't engage in battles for control. Example, if they try to assert prominence, stay calm and assertive without escalating. You can also beat a fake friend or a narcissist by setting clear expectations. Communicate what you expect from them. For example, you can say, I need honesty and respect in our interactions. You can also be selective with your energy. Invest your time and effort wisely. Focus on relationships that are mutually beneficial. You can also use positive affirmations. Reinforce your self-worth regularly. For example, you can say, I'm valued and deserving of respect. That is positive affirmations. You can also beat this fake friend or narcissist by establishing clear communication. Ensure your messages are clear and direct. For example, you can say, I want to address this issue directly to avoid misunderstandings. You can also beat a fake friend or a narcissist by avoiding trying to change them. Focus on managing your interactions rather than altering their behavior. For example, accept them for who they are and adjust your responses accordingly. You can also seek understanding. Try to understand their behavior without accepting it. For example, you can say, I see you are frustrated, but I don't agree with how you are handling it. You can also beat this fake friend or narcissist by using timeouts. Give yourself breaks from interactions. For example, you can say, I need a break from this conversation. Let's revisit it later. You can also focus on your goals. Keep your personal and professional goals in mind. For example, concentrate on achieving your objectives rather than their behavior. You can also beat a fake friend or a narcissist by practicing self-compassion. Be kind to yourself amidst the negativity. Remind yourself of your achievements and strengths regularly. Be prepared for rejection. Understand that they might not change and be okay with distancing yourself. For example, you can say I've decided to step back from this relationship for my well-being. You can also beat a fake friend or narcissist by implementing a no-contact rule. If necessary, cut off communication entirely. 
block their number or social media accounts if they are too disruptive. You can also use conflict resolution skills, apply techniques to resolve disputes calmly. You can use active listening and negotiation to address conflicts. You can also stay grounded, keep yourself centered regardless of the actions. For example, you can practice grounding techniques like deep breathing or meditation. You can learn from the experience, reflect on what you've learned about relationships and boundaries. For example, use the experience to develop stronger interpersonal skills. You can avoid seeking validation from them. Don't look for approval or validation from someone who is unreliable. For example, seek feedback and support from trustworthy friends instead. You can reinforce positive relationships. Strengthen your connections with people who uplift you. You can spend quality time with friends who are supportive and encouraging. You can also use empathy wisely. Understand their perspective, but don't let it justify their behavior. You can recognize their insecurities, but maintain your boundaries. You can also avoid drama. Steer clear of engaging in or creating drama. For example, you can focus on constructive conversations rather than escalating conflicts. Stay organized. Keep track of your interactions and any agreements made. For example, use a journal or an app to monitor key conversations and commitments. You can retreat boundaries. If necessary, remind them of your boundaries. For example, you can say, as I mentioned before, I need our interactions to remain respectful. You can also be honest with yourself. Acknowledge your feelings about the situation. For example, you can say, I feel hurt by their actions and it is affecting my well-being. Then, you can also use strategic withdrawal. Temporarily distance yourself to regain perspective. For example, you can take a break from social activities involving them. You can also maintain integrity. You can act in accordance with your values regardless of their behavior. For example, you can say you can stay honest and respectful in all your interactions. You can also seek professional guidance. Consult a therapist or counselor if needed. Get advice on how to handle difficult relationships and manage stress. Avoid being a rescuer. Don't fall into the trap of trying to fix their issues. For example, providing support without taking on their problems as your own. Again, you can beat a fake friend, including a narcissist, or a f by staying informed. Educate yourself about narcissistic behavior and manipulation tactics. You can read books or articles on narcissism to better understand their behavior. To deal with a fake friend or a narcissist, you can be mindful of your triggers. Identify what specifically bothers you about their behavior and manage your reactions. For example, you can practice calming techniques when they trigger you. You can also practice forgiveness. Let go of any grudges you might hold. For example, forgive them for your own peace of mind, not for their benefit. You can also be prepared for backlash. Understand that they might react negatively to your boundaries. For example, stand firm in your decisions even if they react poorly. Then you can also use assertive communication. Express your needs clearly and confidently. For example, you can say, I need you to respect my space and not push me for information. You can also encourage healthy interactions. Promote positive behavior in your interactions. You can praise them when they act respectfully and constructively. You can also avoid enabling behavior. Don't support their negative traits. For example, refuse to engage in their manipulative tactics or drama. You can keep your distance. Physically and emotionally distance yourself if necessary. For example, you can limit face-to-face -face meetings and maintain a professional distance. You can emphasize self-reliance. Rely on yourself rather than their approval or support. For example, you can make decisions based on your judgment, not their influence. You can also practice emotional intelligence. Understand and manage your emotions effectively. For example, you can use techniques to regulate your feelings when interacting with them. You can also engage in positive interactions. Divert your attention to positive activities. You can immerse yourself in hobbies or projects that bring you joy. You can also build a support network. Strengthen your relationships with trustworthy individuals. For example, you can surround yourself with people who offer genuine support and encouragement. Avoid playing the victim. Take responsibility for your actions and responses. Acknowledge your role in the situation without blaming them entirely. 
You can also utilize conflict management strategies, apply techniques to resolve disputes effectively. You can use problem-solving approaches to address conflicts with them. You can also stay authentic, be true to who you are, regardless of their behavior. You can maintain your values and integrity in all interactions. Also, you monitor your reactions. Be aware of how their behavior affects you and adjust accordingly. Practice self-awareness to manage your responses to their provocations. You can also encourage positive behavior by reinforcing constructive actions and discourage negative ones. Praise them for respectful behavior and address problematic actions calmly. You can also practice detachment. Emotionally detach from their behavior to protect your well-being. View the actions as separate from your self-worth. You can also limit exposure. Minimize the time you spend in their company. Avoid unnecessary interactions and focus on relationships that uplift you. You can also foster self-empowerment. Build your confidence and self-reliance. Engage in activities that boost your self-esteem and personal growth. You can acknowledge their behavior, recognize and accept their behavior without letting it affect you. Example, you understand that their actions are a reflection of their issues, not your value. You can also use constructive criticism, offer feedback in a way that promotes positive change. For example, you can say, I noticed that you interrupted me repeatedly. I'd appreciate it if we could have a balanced conversation. So you can also practice patience. Give yourself time to process and respond to their behavior. For example, you can take a moment to calm down before addressing a conflict with them. Also maintain a healthy distance. Ensure you have a buffer between you and their influence. For example, spend time with people who are supportive and avoid situations where they can manipulate you. Then you can also acknowledge your boundaries, recognize and reinforce your personal limits. For example, you can say, I've set clear boundaries to protect my well-being and I need them to be respected. You can also use discreet communication. Be cautious about how and what you communicate to them. For example, you can use private channels for important conversations rather than open discussions. You can also employ strate strategic engagement. Engage with them only when necessary and in a controlled manner. For example, you can set specific goals for interactions to avoid unnecessary drama. You can also maintain emotional balance. Work on keeping your emotions stable and unaffected by their behavior. For example, you can practice mindfulness to stay centered amidst their provocations. You can also educate yourself on narcissism. Gain a deeper understanding of narcissistic traits and behaviors. For example, you can read about narcissistic personality disorder to better navigate interactions. You can also seek constructive feedback. Get input from others on how to handle the situation. For example, you can ask trusted friends or mentors for advice on managing difficult relationships. You can also implement a personal action plan. Develop a strategy for dealing with your behavior. For example, you can, out, you can outline steps for managing interactions and maintaining your well-being. You can also establish emotional boundaries. Protect your emotional space from their influence. For example, you can avoid discussing sensitive topics that could lead to manipulation. You can also practice self-awareness. Be mindful of your own triggers and reactions. For example, identify what specific actions from them affect you and manage your responses accordingly. Also, you can avoid power plays. Don't engage in power struggles with them. For example, focus on resolving issues calmly rather than competing for control. You can also encourage positive interactions. Foster an environment of mutual respect. For example, praise them when they act positively and address issues constructively. You can also maintain professionalism in work settings. Keep interactions professional and focused on tasks. For example, avoid personal discussions and concentrate on work-related matters. You can use conflict resolution techniques also to beat that fake friend or a narcissist. Apply effective methods for resolving disputes. For example, you can use mediation or negotiation strategies to address conflicts. You can also set personal goals. Focus on your own objectives and growth. For example, you can set goals for your personal development and work towards achieving them despite their influence. You can also practice gratitude. Focus on the positive aspects of your life and relationships. For example, you can regularly remind yourself 
of the supportive people and experiences you have. Navigating relationships with fake friends or narcissists requires a balance of self-protection, clear communication, and strategic distance. By using these approaches that I've mentioned in this video, you can maintain your well-being and foster healthier interactions. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so. Share this video widely to all those who may need it also. Right? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you.